video we are going to see how to create a spring mvc using intel ij idea for this go to your id click on new project select maven archetype give the name project name spring mvc i'm using jdk 21 catalog is internal choose archetype as web app and advanced setting group id you can give any package name here then click on create the project will be created this will be a maven project it will take some time to get synchronized as you can see we don't need this okay build successful now let's go and check the project structure there is a source main resource web app index.gsp by buying if this is my gsp page let's just currently run it no run configuration tomcat is not set it so current file okay now let's set the tomcat server for this go and click here edit configuration let's edit add as you can see there is no tomcat plugin here go to setting sorry search add plugin Is going to search there is a plugins and then search for tomcat and click on install and click ok okay now click on run you can see the name tomcat tomcat server config i'm just going to remove it remove everything to show you from scratch click on add go to your file your folder where you have installed tomcat i have in my c drive program files tomcat apache so software foundation tomcat 9 click ok so here i have added my tomcat directory now click on ok as you can see the configuration is done now let's use the class path module that is my project spring mvc click on that and then let's run we are just running the maven web not the spring let's see a maven is built properly and a tomcat is working click on allow access and then click you can right click to select the Okay, I'm not, I'm not having Firefox. Select the browser. I'm just selecting the browser. Okay, I am having Chrome. So open in Chrome. Okay, so my, my Maven project is working properly. Now, let's start with a spring. Stop the server. Okay, so now. I just want my own use folder so new click on directory write views enter in that you can move the current gsp file or you can create it i'm just going to move it refactor so here it is my view is inside my views folder i'm just going to change the text I'm going to write my spring mvc. I'm going to save this file. This should be printed when my project runs. Okay. Let me just rename this file. So I'm going to refract and rename. You have to write welcome here. 
रिफ्लेक्ट ओके नाउ आई हैव रीनेम्ड माय इंडेक्स डॉट जीएसपी नाउ इट्स माय व्यू सो लेट्स क्रिएट अ होम कंट्रोलर बट एज यू कैन सी देयर इज नो जावा फोल्डर हियर बाय डिफॉल्ट इन इक्लिप्स सो जस्ट लेट्स गो टू फाइल प्रोजेक्ट स्ट्रक्चर मॉड्यूल्स क्लिक ऑन सोर्स मेन देन इट्स नॉट देयर तो सोर्स जस्ट क्लिक ऑन सोर्स तो एज यू कैन सी मेन इज एडेड देन क्रिएट अ न्यू डायरेक्टरी दैट विल बी जावा क्लिक ऑन ओके इट्स नॉट लोडेड देन क्लिक एज यू कैन सी नॉट लोडेड क्लिक ऑन सोर्सेस देन इट्स लोडेड ओके तो क्लिक ऑन ओके एज यू कैन सी माई जावा फोल्डर इज देन यर वे टू क्रिएट ऑल माई जावा क्लासेस तो न्यू फर्स्ट पैकेज विच विल बी वन ऑफ द इम्पॉर्टेंट पैकेज दैट विल कंटेन ऑल माई जावा क्लासेस लाइक कंट्रोलर्स देन एंटर राइट क्लिक न्यू क्रिएट अ कंट्रोलर क्लास होम कंट्रोलर ओके दिस इज माई होम कंट्रोलर so public okay here i am going to get a problem as i have not included i have not created the this, this application as a spring as you can see model and you it's not there so i have to add dependencies inside my pom file okay so as you can see i am not getting model and view class which is required in my controller class okay so let's go and let's add spring dependencies to make this maven project as a spring project okay so let's start go to your chrome okay let's let me just go to my chrome add or write maven repositories repository here you can write spring search for spring mvc we just want spring web msc i'm just writing directly spring spring web msc scroll down i'm going to use a more stable version that is of 5 here you can see 5.3.23 just copy this copy to clipboard and then go to your id and paste enter and paste okay let me just check is uh, is this loaded i have saved the file here you can see it has not loaded so we have to update a pom file right click go to your maven and reload the project it will upload all the dependencies of spring okay now it's uploaded we don't want this file pom file let's close this and again let's start creating a controller class now we'll see the difference i'm going to create a public i'm going to use a class model and view class which will return model which will be the data and a view like dot jsp file or dot html file get page is my normal method which will return the view in this i'm going to create an object of model and view class scroll down the package will be imported m is equals to new model and view okay semicolon end now i'm going to set the view m dot set view name as you can see my view is where it is view it's my welcome dot csp so i'm going to write here only the name of my file not the extension okay sorry welcome and then return the model and view m okay now i have to tell spring this is my controller the control will be shifted to my class okay so here what i am going to do just tell my spring to see okay let me just check where is my okay we will do it later new 
okay mm. let me just uh, complete this to set a, this as a controller at the controller this will tell this is my controller this will be the default controller from now on to a project and let me set the request mapping path i'm going to use a path like simple one hello this will be my path when my application executes this will be this xml file this will be printed whatever the context is there okay now let's tell a project where is a controller so for this we are going to use web xml file here we are going to use the servlet tag in which there will be a second handler which will be my dispatcher servlet i'm going to use my dispatcher this will be a servlet class which will handle the views we are using web xml the first controller which will search for my dispatcher my servlet class go to search right dispatcher it's all it's not showing the classes now click to classes and write dispatcher servlet here it is just click on that we need the package name scroll up copy the package name so sorry just copy it and then go back to web xml paste it and then dot and the class name save it close that file and then servlet mapping the second tag is servlet mapping which will have the dispatcher name servlet name make sure that servlet name is same that's the rule and then give a url i'm going to get slash common base url save the file now let's create another xml file which will have spring configuration and tell where the controller is go to new file my dispatcher this dispatcher hyphen servlet is the name of my dispatcher as you can see my servlet name and dispatcher name is same please make sure this this is my second handler and hyphen servlet here spring configuration will be there so go to chrome as you know in my previous video i have told you how to create a spring configuration xml file now let me just directly write spring configuration file and then scroll down we just need the beans and schemas that's why we don't have to learn this just copy and paste and every schema will be downloaded okay let me just give you the exact let me scroll down okay here it is i use this site i scroll down as you can see there are two xml i just need this it's also i think so i copied okay let me just close everything and then copy paste and then let's close the beans here we are going to add the beans so let's start with the first bean this will be my bean for view resolver bean class is equals to to so go and search internal resource okay it's again in all just okay it came click to classes and then internal resource view resolver scroll up copy the package name and then go back paste it dot the class name okay this bean also requires let me write the id or name of my bean name is equals to view resolver okay sorry this bean requires two properties property name okay let me close it prefix this will prefix will show where a view folder is value is equals to it's inside web inf which is inside web app and views so 
exact location must be provided so let's start web inf please note here one thing as i am writing as you can see my web inf is exactly what it is written in my folder structure so please don't write in small cases now next property name suffix is the file extension like value will be dot gsp dot html or anything so let me just complete this dot jsp okay this can be any html or view file html or anything jsp okay my second controller is also completed let's save hope everything is perfect this is my my pack we have to just add it like context colon component scan this will point to a base package where our controller class is there please don't write the dot class class name here as we do in java this is only the package name okay here it is my controller okay we have completed with all the configuration first handler this will go to dispatcher servlet which will tell where is the home controller okay everything looks perfect so let's start click on run let's start the tomcat server configuration is there none and just change it to spring mbc and then let's run okay it's initializing searching my ser tomcat server is working okay we got the link right click open in chrome okay okay i have changed my view so i'm getting an error my mapping is hello so we just we can write here hello and then click enter here it is my hello my spring mbc okay my spring application is working in this id i have told you how to configure tomcat server from scratch here it is printed okay thank you